I'm Jody Naranjo. I'm from Santa Clara Pueblo and um, I'm a potter. I've been making pottery now for about 30 years. I um, started when I was about, when I was a child, you know, kind of playing in clay and um, started making pots about 15 to sell in the plaza, um, the Portal in Santa Fe and um, galleries started coming around around when I was around 20 and I've always made pottery. I make these these pots that are traditionally made, but they're very contemporary. Um, they're all different, and um, just, you know, I've been doing this now for my whole life. It's been my only job I've ever had. I never felt that I was very um, artistic, you know? I just felt like my, my, my figures were real um, cartoon-like, or like stick figures. So I thought, you know, well, just go with what you got. and. <laughs> And what I could do is draw these little stick figures and my caricatures of my of the same designs, and that worked for me. And over time, they became more and more playful and more and more fun. And I thought, well, people are liking this, so I guess I can just go with it. And that's what I've been doing, you know. Just um, my life events end up in my pottery. I'll, I've always had a child next to me or an animal next to me. <laughs> so that, you know, helps in my um, playfulness in the pots. It's traditional, but I think in my designing is where I get um, the real contemporary or modern feel of it. I don't like to do the same thing over and over. You know, I don't want to see the same pot again. Um, and it's not only because I want to keep in growing or exploring, but it's also that I don't want to get bored and um, I have to entertain myself. If this is what I'm going to do for, what, 80 years, then I better enjoy it. And the only way you enjoy something is by doing something different and creating something new and challenging yourself and experimenting. And, and you know, it really has um, led to just kind of all kinds of fun things. Like this one was just this plain red pot. I had a red spot here and a red spot here. So I thought, okay, well, you know, I'll make one of my landscapes here. So here, this is the Pueblo, and they're just like Taos Pueblo, and they're just stacked houses with the windows and the doors. And then in here, I put the hills with the pinon trees. And then on top of that is the mountains with the snow. Um, I'd like to add birds or fish, or but this one I did a, a thundercloud. So it has the lightning coming out of the thundercloud. I'm gonna start that pattern I do. I'll just do like, watch, I do one at a time. See, and then I have like a little row of them going. I'll go all the way around like that. So this specific pot will be for the Native Treasure Show. Um, this year I was asked to be the living treasure, which was pretty cool, of course. Um, I was not not expecting that, and um, that was really exciting and big honor for me. You know, a lot of the artists have become, uh, you know, some of my best friends. So it's kind of like a homecoming to see everybody. We've all become very intertwined in this uh, art world. And so it's like a, kind of like a big reunion. You walk around going, hi, 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 hugging everybody. And, you know, me being um, honored as the living treasure this year is pretty neat. So I was really excited. And See? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Just keeps on going.